What will the James Webb Space Telescope see if the Big Bang is not the beginning of our universe? I predict we will see complexity in the form of spherical and spiral symmetry or geometry that must have had a timeline that started before the Big Bang. We will also see broken symmetry in the form of a cosmic microwave background dipole that is relative to us. This is based on the idea that the Big Bang is just the beginning of our own timeline. I will explain how the Big Bang and the photons from the cosmic microwave background radiation can represent the beginning of our timeline and how the cosmological arrow of time with the universe expanding from the Big Bang into the future is based on the same geometrical process that forms the concept of time that we have in our everyday life. The photons of the cosmic microwave background radiation have a specific wavelength relative to the current temperature of the universe. When the background radiation was formed, the temperature was higher and the wavelengths of the photons were much shorter. The wavelengths have grown a little over a thousand times in size. The universe has expanded a thousand times in size in all directions over the same time period. The volume has grown more than a billion times what it was then. I will place a link below this video to a very beautiful mainstream physics video that supports what I have just said. In this theory only the interpretation changes. The physics remains the same. The process explained so far is relative to the photons. What I mean by this is that spherical photon oscillations or vibrations are forming the expansion of three dimensional space, forming a cosmological arrow of time, with an individual arrow of time for each object with their own reference frame. It is because this process is relative to temperature that we can have the same process on the very large scale in the form of plasma and at the very short scale relative to the atoms of the periodic table. Just as we have photon energy levels cascading down from the Big Bang, we also have photon energy levels continuously cascading down from the Sun. This process is very beautiful and easy to understand. The photons convert potential energy of the electron into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. The main difference between potential energy and kinetic energy is that potential energy is the energy of what can happen and kinetic energy is the energy of what is happening. By converting potential energy into kinetic energy, photon spherical oscillations form a probabilistic future in three dimensions with one variable in the form of time. This is a geometrical process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. The spherical symmetry is broken forming dipoles that have a two-dimensional aspect as in positive and negative charge this process of energy exchange forms our ever-changing three-dimensional world with a two-dimensional aspect in the form of a past and uncertain future. A process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking would form the potential for entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the complexity of cell life and in the potential for ever more abstract mathematics. If you have any questions place them below and I will answer them the best I can. If you like this sub and share it will help the promotion of this theory.